welcome welcome to the a chain vlog today's topic is is a really really important topic that i have to address i mean one of the biggest complaint i hear from entrepreneurs across africa but let's focus in runner because that's really a problem i see across the continent right it's it's the 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 challenge they have of partnering or working uh with government you know getting government contracts and i'm talking about as a startup whether it's innovation social impact um you know that particular space and and the second challenge we see is how foreign companies get the red carpet treatment i mean th those are facts right i'm not talking about something out of wazoo as they say those are facts i mean you, you see government working well and and it's very fluid when they work with foreign company and of course they have agendas and all but, but when it comes to startup trying to build their way up uh, you know getting contracts selling their, their services selling their products especially if you're a small company it's dead in the water not all the time i'm sure but a lot of time right now i wanted to address this because i hear a lot not a lot of people talking about it and it's just going you know unanswered there's there's not much going on and and i had the same case uh, i've tried to partner with i mean different departments ministry from ict uh, to the mayor of Kigali, the, you know, the city of Kigali, sorry. Um, and it always, and, and this is how the process is. Already the process, the problem is the process, right? You have to develop a proposal, written, you have to drop it. I can't tell you how many times the proposal got lost, literally lost, where they call and they tell you either we never got it, but thank God they did. So you, you drop a proposal, they stamp it. I'm assuming, I'm hoping. Because it's been, for me, it was years back. Uh, they stamp it to prove that you drop it off, then you follow up. Uh, sometimes they tell, no, we don't have anything. You bring the proof, oh, okay, you have to resubmit. Um, so the, the, the flow of, of working with government already, it's problematic. Especially if, if, if you start up, you have no track record or you have very little track record. They don't know you. Uh, you have to deal with middle management. I think that's the biggest problem in every government. It's middle management. It's not necessarily the, the leadership. No, it's always middle management of government because that's where things get stuck up. You don't know who you're talking to, who's in charge of that. You have to talk to different people. And it drags, it drags, it drags, it drags. And you either give up or you're just not going on. And this is a problem. And, and let's be clear about something, right? Government in any country is the largest purchaser of services, products, and so on. It's the biggest, the biggest customer, you know. It's the biggest spender, I should say. In any government, I don't care who it is, nobody spends more than government in any country. So government, is, there's a huge chunk of money that can be made for a business uh, dealing with government. But... In, 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 on the continent, what you see is, again, the red carpet treatment for foreign entities and a, a drag on for local companies. And it's creating frustration. It's creating frustration and a solution for it. The first solution I would use, because there's no point to, to, to complain for the sake of complaining. What are the solutions? And I will really invite local leaders to really engage into this problem because this is a problem. It, it doesn't have to affect them directly, but the, this, this is part of an ecosystem that needs to be built. And government is a big part of this ecosystem. You know, I'm not here to bash. I'm not here to just point figure. I'm here to really address an issue and how can it be solved, right? The first thing is the flow, the process flow from proposal you, they, they, there's technology out there. They, they call it tracking technology that can track. You submit digitally and it track uh, your proposal from A to Z, right? Online, it doesn't have to be open to the public, but it should be open to the person 
dropping the proposal so there's no more issue where your proposal is well you know we didn't get it it's stuck here now you can see and then you have accountability I think that's another problem we have nobody's held accountable that a proposal it's not even that the proposal is denied you don't even get an answer you don't even get feedback you know you have to write letters and this and that and then they tell you if you complain then you you know you black you black boxes you know you, you, you black label like they said and, and then oh why you complain right it happened to me i can tell you i speak from personal experience so there has to be an integration of uh, technology into the process number one that's the first thing we need to do and i think rdb can lead on that i don't know if it's already there the second thing is we need laws that says you cannot go outside the country to look for solutions unless you for sure and prove that you can't find those solutions locally and that has to be public you know and then number two we need to start number three we need to start promoting local innovator local entrepreneur and when i say promote government minister it doesn't have to be just rdb or, you know ministers local uh, when you look at tweets when you look at uh, retweets of, of 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 local officials and all and and they're tweeting big partnership big partnership big partnership with this foreign companies with this uh, uh uh from europe from the states and all so on so forth that they invest in that's all great but what about the locals man what we what we doing is you know, and, 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 and what we're doing, we're creating a, 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 we're creating a gap and, and, and we're creating this gap that promoting a group and, lead, and, and, and abandoning the second group, right? Because the idea of an ecosystem is not just the fact that registering a company, uh, it's free, it's quick. That's a big part, but that's not the only part. That's not the most important part, by the way. It's how entities work together, from the private sector to government to university, research and development, so on and so forth. And I'll use Israel as an example. They have, why Israel is able to export technology from local entrepreneurs, local founders, so on and so forth, because they've been able to create this ecosystem. And if you look carefully on any country that is exporting that technology that ecosystem is fluid from private public and uh, uh, university for research and development but he, here in rwanda it's all separate everybody doing the same thing uh, their, their own thing and i'm talking on the local level right now of course government partner with entities or we've seen with zipline and all those things but those are not local companies i'm talking about locally locally if I'm, a, if I'm a young innovator, come up with a great, brilliant idea to solve a problem in, in agriculture, for example, just as an example, great. You, are, you go, you register your company, in four hours you're in business. That's awesome, right? We solved that part. Boom. But you need more research and development. You go to university, they're going to tell you, I don't have any money. Or uh, who's going to pay for, for, for school? It happened to me also, right? Now you stuck. Okay, you need to find money, you need to find talents and all that. University should, you know, bridge that gap on research and development and, and partnering with the private sector. You know, they give experience to the students and then the, the, the entrepreneur get a solution developed uh, at a much, much lower cost and even for free. And then you can even share the IP. I mean, there's a lot of ways to do that. Boom. Then you want to bring this solution to the you know, national scale in the country. You need government. You don't have a lot of resources, you need government. Government does not necessarily have to, to invest money, but a lot of time you go to government, what they tell you? We don't have a budget, we don't have money. That's exactly what happened to me. You know, they told me that. And I even offer, I said, listen, I will fund the project. You know, I will fund, all I need, of course, is facilitation. You know, instead of having to go to each district and talk and all that, never heard from them. So this is those, if we can, I'm telling you, if we can solve those gaps, because they're just gaps, it's, it can be solved. It's not a huge problem. You know, it's not impossible. We just have to change our mindset. And this is an African problem, by the way. 
This is not just a Rwandan problem, it's an African problem. I'm using Rwanda because I'm based in Rwanda. You know, if we can make this process fluid, then we can have, you know, our African champion, our Rwandan champion. Then you can see a Rwandan company getting into a space that nobody, that there's no Rwandan uh, in that space. Look at EV. There's no running in that space. Look at solar. There's no running at, a, at scale. I'm talking at scale. There's no running in that space. You know, there's, there's less than 3% African in that space, right? So when, when we create a fluid ecosystem and we have policies that protect local entrepreneur, you know, promote local entrepreneur to get businesses, man, in 10 years, 15 years, then we can talk about our unicorn status. Until then, all we're doing is we spectator uh, to this innovation uh, revolution. You know, we either working for those who, who, who come from outside with money to do those, uh, those, those uh, you know, businesses, type of businesses that are very innovative. Um, we either work for them or we just, uh, you know, watching them grow and all those things. But if we really want to promote local technology, local innovation, local solution, things have to change. So this is my take on this. I would love to see some comment. Um, if, 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 if government does not stop looking outside and focusing on inside for solution, then we're not going to move forward. That, that's, that's for sure. I've never, ever met a country that's been developed and still import mostly technology from outside. All companies that have reached a certain level of development, I've looked inward for development, inward for partnership, inward to solve their problem. Because when you develop inward, you develop IP inward, you create value for that country. That's the key. And, and, and every developing country, you can, you can research, you can check, you know, they have a lot of IPs within the country from local companies to get where they because that's when you start exporting your solution. All right, guys, put comment. I hope you like what you see. Uh, if you do, subscribe, you know, promote the channel, share. And let me know what you think, man. Take care.